Imagine that you are developing a video game. Your current task is to create a passive skills system in this game. These passive skills should automatically activate on specific events like movement, health changes or other game dynamics. To efficiently manage these interactions and ensure that skills are activated at the right moment, we can use the Observer design pattern. The Observer is a behavioral design pattern that defines a one-to-many relationship between objects, where changes in one object are automatically communicated to and reflected in other objects. It enables a loosely coupled and efficient communication mechanism between components. First, let's create a class called Game Event Manager. It contains several methods – subscribe, unsubscribe, and notify subscribers. Notify subscribers method accepts the type of event happening right now, and its only role is to notify the appropriate subscribers. Then, let's create the passive skill interface and concrete passive skill classes, which implement one single method – update. Any concrete passive skill can subscribe to any event that Game Event Manager emits. When the Notify Subscribers method is called with the event, the Game Event Manager will call the update method for all subscribers listening to that concrete event. Thus, each passive skill will know exactly when it should work. Here we have three actors. The first one, the subject or publisher, is a class that maintains a list of dependent observers and notifies them of any state changes. It provides methods to attach, detach and notify observers. The observer or subscriber is an interface that defines the update method to be called when the subject's state changes. And lastly, concrete observers are classes that implement the observer interface and receive updates from the subject when its state changes. Starting with the benefits, one of the main advantages of the observer pattern is its support for dynamic updates. At runtime, objects can be dynamically added or removed from the list of observers, providing great flexibility in managing dependencies between objects. In addition to this, the pattern ensures efficient communication between objects. Observers are only notified when relevant changes in the subject's state occur, preventing unnecessary updates and helping keep the system efficient. Moreover, the observer pattern aids in maintaining consistency across the system. It guarantees that all observers are kept in sync with the subject's state, ensuring that each dependent object is updated appropriately to reflect the current state. However, there are also disadvantages to consider. Implementing the observer pattern can introduce additional complexity to a system, particularly when there are many observers to manage and their interactions become intricate. This complexity can make the system harder to understand and maintain. Furthermore, if observers are used excessively or the subject's state changes frequently, it can lead to unexpected updates and cascading changes throughout the system. This can make the behavior of the system unpredictable and challenging to debug. Finally, the ordering in which observers are notified can be an essential factor in some systems, and the observer pattern does not inherently provide a way to manage this. This can lead to design challenges and result in code that is hard to maintain. That's all about the observer design pattern. See you in the next video.